there were six women on this jury. Yes. And you were the only minority, correct? Yes. And the jury brought back a, a not guilty verdict. And that haunts you to this day. I'm a godly person. If you kill somebody, you're guilty. <clears throat> it's sad to say that because of a law that was written and it was described to me that I had to follow this law against my own will. In my heart, I knew that he was guilty. But I couldn't use my heart. I had to use the law. And so you voted not guilty when you felt in your mind and heart that he was guilty. Yes. You know, Lisa, did she have a choice in the way she voted here? She didn't. And Maddie's very brave to speak out in the way that she is. I blame the prosecution in the state of Florida. I go through in the book the six biggest blunders they made. And putting it all together, they failed to connect the law and the facts that they had to give jurors like Maddie and the other jurors who wanted to convict a roadmap to conviction. The prosecutors made mistake after mistake in this case. I'll give you one of the biggest ones. George Zimmerman showed on a videotape that his gun was holstered behind him inside his pants. And he says he was lying on his back with Trayvon Martin on top of him, straddling him at the moment that Trayvon Martin saw the gun, reached for the gun, and threatened to kill Zimmerman. And Zimmerman says, at that point, I had to pull the gun and shoot in self-defense. The problem with that story is, unless Trayvon Martin had x-ray vision, there is no way he could have seen through George Zimmerman's body to a gun holstered behind him. The prosecution inexplicably failed to argue that, failed to give the jury that information that they had on a videotape for over a year. There are many people in America who found this verdict very unsatisfying, and I was one of them having watched the trial. You say that you were bullied and teased and discriminated against as a juror. One of the other jurors, every time I would say something like, I said Raymond Noodles, she would say, you, you don't even know how to say that, right? I had said another word and she was like, oh my God, did you hear Maddie say? And it was just a constant, I felt like we were in high school. I really took this situation, this case, I really took it very serious. And out of all this, I feel like it became a mockery because when I came out of this, it became that I was the bad guy. I got people telling me, you could have done something. You could have said something. You could have been there. And I've tried everything within a year to change my life, to see what I could have done. But I shouldn't be punished for Trayvon Martin's death.